Hello friends, welcome to the part 8 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will finish the remaining methods present in the post resource. In the previous video, we completed the find all method and we are able to retrieve all the posts that we have here in the database as you can see. So let's quickly work on the find one method. So this uh, function expects the ID. Uh, as an as a as a parameter, so we'll use the await keyword here and make this async first. And this repo has got find one method available by the uh, typo rm package. So we'll simply pass in the ID here, and this expects an ID. This method expects an ID in the number format. All right. So let's try that. And I'm passing the ID of two here. We have the second post. Right? If I put three, you get three. And if I put one, so this gives me an okay response with an empty body. We don't want that. So we'll simply store this variable in the uh, store this output in the variable, and we'll see if post is there or if no, no post is there we'll simply throw a new bad request exception so all these exceptions are already available in the nest.js common library and you have to import it from there and so to do that you can pass on a custom message post uh, not found simple and if it's found we'll simply return post save check your server it's running and go back here and hit the send response it says status code 400 so the status code is already a part of that bad request exception type okay and this is our message custom message and this is the error and if i if you go and enter a valid id you'll get the response back perfect let's quickly quickly do that here in the update method and also make this as async so at this moment i'm going to use the inbuilt update function here it expects an id and the uh body that's my update post dto okay although it will not do anything at this moment because my update post DTO is empty, I can show you that it's empty. It's inheriting from my create post DTO is in the partial type. The partial type means whatever is present inside create post DTO, uh, extend those properties but make them uh, temp I mean optional. Okay, so that is what this partial type does. Now, if I go back to my post service, the, uh, we'll work on the remove method in a similar fashion. At this moment, I'm using the inbuilt delete method. Okay. Nothing else. And we have the create method remaining. For this create method, we expect a create post DTO. So let's quickly fill the uh properties that we uh expect the user to send so i expect a title a content of type string a slug let me i will not pass in the slug i'll generate that slug manually at this moment let me check the entity what we have we have title content all this and the main image url okay so these two dates will be automatically inserted by our database you don't have to worry about that let's uh, go here and type main image url okay and whatever value you whatever key you put here make sure the key in your form or your postman should match these names okay let's save this so our Create post DTO is there. Update post DTO is inheriting the create post DTO. So all these fields are mandatory in create create post DTO, but optional for update. Okay, so let's close this 
and here at this moment what i will do i'll simply uh, again make this async and use the insert okay insert uh, method here later on we'll refactor all these methods with uh, a different method i'll show you that so at this moment i'll simply pass in the create post dto and that should do it let's see if this works and my server is running i'm going back to my postman client and let's open a new tab and this time if you see in your controller that your create method is an off type post so you cannot use get request to hit this endpoint or method rather okay so this is retrieving the body i mean the data from the body of the request and storing it in this variable which we are passing as the parameter let's see uh, or before i actually insert anything let me log the create post pto in the console and i'm, I'm gonna comment this out and simply return true save the changes again so now if i go and simply copy this remove the parameter and then since this is a post request it expects a body so in the body i'll go to uh url form and enc uh, encoded let's see if this works should title test title content test content and main image url http google.com if i hit send i get true here and now if i check my terminal so this is my content okay, this is the body that i'm getting okay which is exactly what i wanted in my post dto i'm expecting title content main image url i'm getting all of that let's go back to our service uncomment this and let's give it a final try okay so now i go back here hit send say it's status code in 500 let's see what what it says okay it says field slug doesn't have a default value okay so what we are missing here is the slug part so now what we have to do we have to uh, create a new variable here to form the slug because that is not coming from the body so we'll use a create post pto dot title and we'll split it with the space and then we'll join it with underscore and two lower case so now i want to I have to modify this a little bit because this does not have the slug. Okay. What I'll do, I'll simply use a spread operator here to get the data out of this post DTO. And for the slug, I'll use the slug variable that I declared here. So this is the spread operator. And whenever you use it, it simply uh, spits out whatever is inside this variable this variable is containing this data okay this data so that's, that will be inserted here along with the slug so let's see if this works i go back here and hit send perfect okay so i get this so this is the raw data that you get after you run the insert command so it says affected rows one okay created on modified on ids four okay which is good and if i see if i go back to my get request and get and hit a uh, get request to fetch all the posts i should see a fourth post or third post here with an id of four that's my test post and you see the slug got derived from my title okay if you miss the slug it will give you an error that we just saw so this pretty much concludes the 
post resource and, and i can also show you the, the delete let's say we want to delete the post with id 4 i can simply go here go to delete and type 4 and hit send it says affected one so affected one means one row got changed now if i try to fetch all of the posts so the the last one is no longer present okay similarly you can try the other methods that are there like uh update that's the only one left let's say i'll i'll show you that as well uh so patch request as far as i remember let's check the controller yeah it's a patch request with an id let's say id of three and uh, the third post let's say i'll put change the title only i'll say it'll say second post updated okay so in the body i'm going to only send the title second post updated and hit send so again it says affected row one which is good and if i hit send again so my title got updated wonderful so all of my methods are working as expected and my post route is finished however as i said we will revisit this section and refactor some of these methods so that we can um, use advanced functionality such as sorting filtering all those stuff and we'll see how we can do that in the upcoming videos so till then if you have any comments please put those in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the like button subscribe the channel if you haven't and share this video with your friends i'll see you in the next video till then happy learning Bye-bye.